on, is it time now? All right, teachers, of course, many of them struggling to pay for school supplies. A new study show that many are not reimbursed. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Shelby Township this morning to show us how one group is trying to lend a helping hand. This is beautiful, Matthew. Yeah, it's so awesome to see this. In fact, uh, you can see kind of some of these teacher kits is what we're calling them. Shepherd's Gate is putting all these together, filling them up with school supplies, part of their step up and serve weekend coming up later this week. And really, we've got all sorts of people working on this today. I'm talking with some of the organizers this morning who are helping me out, figure out what exactly is going on. So, Michelle, I'll ask you, uh, what, what is it that gets you guys excited about putting these things together? Well, we just want to show some love to all the teachers out in the community. Teachers end up spending so much of their own money on school supplies for the kids. So we just want to show them some love, give them a back to school kind of kit to start the year off and just share the love of Jesus with all of them. And hey Ron, uh, it's kind of amazing to see how much is going into this. You've got a lot of workers out here this morning. Uh, why, why was this the mission this time? I think part of it was uh, um, we wanted to really give everybody an opportunity in our church to do something. And uh, whether it's going to a site uh, to, you know, to take a shovel and a dig or a hammer, this was a little special to us because we really wanted to reach out to the people that are impacting our community. You know, whether it's first responders or teachers, and teachers in particular because my wife's an educator and we've got a lot of friends that are educators too. Hard to think that teachers don't always have what they need to make ends meet. Well, there's been a lot of cuts in funding and, you know, it just trickles down. So them need me to provide it for the kids themselves. So. Well, you guys are going to continue to see this throughout the morning. Coming up at 7 o'clock, we'll also be talking to the pastor of this church here in Shelby Township. And as well, I want to make sure you all know at WXYZ.com, coming up uh, later on this morning, we'll be posting information how you can help out. Donations are still going to be accepted. You might have noticed the Step Out and Serve shirts that everybody's wearing. That's what this is going to be a part of. That's happening later on this month when they actually give out all this stuff. We can let you know where you can drop off donations up until that point, again, at WXYZ.com. Hey, we're live in Shelby Township this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.